Today, every day, small cap investors visit Agoracom knowing this is the day to discover the world's next great company, to have their dreams come true. That's why I take to the open road, to find them, to tell their stories, to engage them, to bring them to life. Because they want to connect with you from your office, your phone, your home, anywhere. Agoracom, find your dream. Welcome to Beyond the Press Release, a production of Gorecom, in which we take the time to speak with small cap executives about recent important news. With us today on the first trading day back is none other than Sean Dollinger, its co-founder, president, and CEO of Namaste Technologies. You all know the symbols by now, but I'm going to give them to you. N on the CSE in Canada, NXTTF uh, on the, in the OTC on the U.S., and for our friends in Germany, M5BQ. For those of you who are new to the story, uh, Namaste has basically taken over everything in the medical cannabis delivery system world uh, with e-commerce stores, uh, real manufacturing, production, joint ventures, acquisitions, you name it, they're doing it. They announced in November record numbers, $2.2 million for the month, uh, and they're scheduled to do for August somewhere around $24, $25 million. The company today announced, and I'm going to read the headline, Aurora and Namaste to compete strategic private label software and patient referral agreement. That's a press release we're here to talk about. Sean, happy new year. Welcome to the show. Happy new year, George. Thanks for uh, having us on again. You know, it just figures out the first trading day back when 98% of companies are just trying to get back in the groove of things. You're hitting the market with a big press release first thing in the morning and talking to all your shareholders. Let's talk about this press release. What I find interesting about is uh, the terminology. It's a software agreement and is with one of the leading LPs. What does this mean for the company, not in terms of dollars yet, but what does it mean in terms of uh, third-party val validation and acceptance from someone like Aurora? Yeah, you stole the words right out of my mouth, George. You know, honestly, um, we've been working with Aurora on this for, for literally weeks now, uh, you know, and going back and forth on the technology. As you know, Namaste MD was uh, launched uh, about, I guess, a month ago now, and we're seeing unbelievable results. I think they wanted to see some of those results, see what it was all about. We had many presentations and they, uh, they were blown away by the piece of technology and how it reshapes the whole telemedicine portal for the space. So instead of people coming into you know, brick and mortar clinics, it really opens the door. And for us, it's really, really important that someone as big as Aurora, $5 billion company, Hey, it kind of puts that stamp of approval, uh, you know, in Edmonton, people are calling us little N, you know. Um, so I, I think that gives a, a big stamp of validation uh, from, as we know, a leader in the space. And we're looking really forward to working with them, not only on this, but, but many more uh, opportunities in 2018. And no doubt everybody in the industry has seen this press release. That's a given. Every, anybody is anybody. How important is it to you that Namaste continues to rise the ranks and being recognized as a technology company first uh, in an industry that's not very, that hasn't gone very far with their technology? George, we've kept our heads down. You know, all of 2017 was working really hard on all of the technology. Uh, you know, we listened to the major LPs out there because we, did, we don't have the experience yet, right, on the seat to sale uh, software, keeping track of all that because we're about to get our LP license here in the next few weeks. And that's going to be a really important next step. But we've heard all the struggles and I, I don't want to throw anybody's name under the bus here or anything like that. That's not our objective at Namaste. But there's one company known as the leader right now in seed to sale but we're seeing so many flaws in that software. And we believe in-house Namaste can now do an unbelievable piece of technology moving forward to integrating everything from that consultation process to getting a customer registered with an LP to then following the sale for the government, you know, Health Canada, so everything's recorded properly. We believe that in 2018, we'll have an amazing piece of technology that incorporates all of that. And, and we're really excited to, to bring that to life. 
I mean, I've been banging the table for over a year that technology is gonna is gonna be the bigger competitor competitive advantage in this space for anyone who can wrap their business around that. Uh, and do you think I'm you know am I over exaggerating that, or is the technology almost more important than the growing of the product to begin with? Because the technology brings it all together. If you look at Amazon before the whole cloud, uh, cloud servers, they got into all of their uh, digital downloads from Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime um, in that whole space of downloading audio books. It's very hard. And I brought this up before making money in, in e-commerce with an actual device, right? We discussed this with our whole green lane integration and, Yes, we've went forward and taken a, you know, even advanced it further with being able to now use that data that will be that we get and bringing it through Namaste MD and converting it into patients with a recurring consumable. Consumable is the big one here because that's where you really, really could see revenues go off the chart, be much more profitable, etc. But if we look at Amazon's model and looking at their digital material as well as the servers, et cetera, where they're bringing in massive profits. Look at that from our side of the software that we've developed for Namaste MD. And we're not gonna go ahead and disclose exactly what Aurora is giving us per patient, but I'm telling you now, George, we're talking about millions upon millions of dollars in EBITDA that we'll be able to bring in from a virtual piece of software, a piece of software that we've developed already in-house for Namaste, that all of the costs were already put into it. So by using this piece of software with a, an amazing partner like Aurora, um, you know, it, it should be, be clear profits for Namaste. And Terry Booth summed it up in a, in a quote, and I had this extra ready just in case this conversation came up, but this sums up uh, I, the power of Namaste. Namaste MD will enable us to extend our industry-leading patient care to areas where we currently have no physical presence without having to commit a substantial investment in brick and mortar facilities. Uh, I think that sums up perfectly as to how powerful not just Namaste MD is, but how powerful your technology, your, your technology and your competitive advantage. And let's go to compensation there. So I was going to ask George, you, this George, is before you continue, George, before you continue, sure. one, one thing on that. I just want to make it really clear for all the investors and viewers, this is just our first real piece of technology on this side of things. And I really want to emphasize how important that is because it's one of many pieces that we will be developing in-house and licensing out to other LPs. And when they, this one here is the first that we are now implementing with a partner. Now think about the future and the different pieces of technology that we have to go with everything else that we've built, like the artificial intelligence we've spoken about in the past, machine yeah. learning, conversions going up. We've been doing this, right? But this is the first time where now we're, we're taking what we developed, got that stamp of approval from everyone, you know, from a big LP, a big partner saying, wow, we, we're, we've recognized what Namaste's done 2016, 2017. We want a taste of it. Now it's going to be implemented. So now we've started that snowball rolling. And now the new pieces we bring out will already have that stamp on it being like, okay, Namaste is a leader with the technology and how valuable and how important it is. Okay, get, give us more. Give us more, you know? So if, to draw one final analogy, Amazon started with just simple, when they went electronic, simple you know, download of, of eBooks and things like that. Then they moved to AWS, where you're able to store uh, things on their on their server system. Uh, Prime, movies. Now you've got Echo. So safe to say that that's where you want to take Namaste in the coming years, where you have this unbelievable technological foundation, and you keep adding on powerful, powerful application on top of it, like Namaste MD and whatever else you have in your vision for the next 24, 36 months. Exactly what Amazon's doing, helping partners out. That's how you succeed in, in 2018, I believe. It's not all about what can we keep, what can we, it's about opening up the doors and bringing value to companies that then understand the value you bring 
And that's how synergies and growth happens. And that's been our concept for the last two years, George. It's been about what type of value can we bring others? Even when we started and we were working with resellers or partners for, for vaporizers, I said, it's not all about how much money we can make with you today. It's yeah. about how much value can we bring you today? And will you recognize that so that you remain loyal to us when somebody offers you a product for 10 cents cheaper? What stops you from turning your back on Namaste and going and saving that 10 cents? It's being, hey, they were there to help us on e-commerce, help us with machine learning, taking the time and bringing us value, not just about, hey, what can Namaste make at this present moment in time? And I think that that's what we've done, you know? And this is why I keep banging the table because I just, I've just seen it that you guys are going to build that way. And, uh, and, uh, you're just not going to be replaced by anybody. The deep, what I love about Amazon, what you're doing is Amazon didn't try and make a, uh, you know, a big dollar off every single application thing they came out with. They made it super affordable. They made it great for everybody. And then you created your own ecosystem around them. People created their entire ecosystem, their e-commerce, their storage, the, their prime delivery method. And at that point, how do you leave them? So that's why I continue to say Namaste is one of my top three holdings the next five years. And I can't say top one just so no one takes me as an investment advisor and tries to, you know, come after me two years from now or something like that. But I, I love it. So let, let's talk about uh, Aurora taking 500,000 well, options. Corey, one, one, one thing, I don't want to interrupt you. but No, I, go. It's your show, buddy. Bezos, I, I read an article on him about uh, 14 things that he did to get to where he's at. And one thing that was really interesting was – um, don't copy your competition, but recognize your competition and, uh, you know, or, or someone else doing something amazing. So Amazon, we're referring to it as, as the big picture, right? But as I mentioned before, there's things that we believe that we could do better, like the customer service being more of a specialized product, being more virtual, et cetera. But we still use the same concepts that a, a, an amazing company that's been built over the last 18 years, you know? So I just yeah. want to point that out that it was really interesting, that article I read and it really opened, you know, I took the time to read each point a few times and say, Hey, how does this relate? And believe it or not, out of the 14, I, I was literally 14 for 14, you know, um, in the different, different things that he suggests. And I, I just thought that one was really neat, you know? And that's what differentiates you. You know, a lot of people like to talk the talk and say things and use all the jargon but you're actually doing it. And then you're not only doing it, but you're delivering. And then the third part is you're not just delivering, other companies want it from you. So to me now, knowing on my side what it's been like to build a technology company, once you get to this stage, this for everybody at home, not for Sean, because he knows it, but you know, and, and maybe he won't toot his own horn enough. But for me, that once you get to that stage, once you've gotten to the stage where other companies are using it and you've got the third party validation, you're pretty much on your way. The, the question now for Namaste, is not, uh, is it going to be even more successful in the next three, four years? It's a case of just degree, right? And that degree to me, I see a global empire coming out of this. I don't see any other way. You and I have not spoken. So, you know, a year ago, I was calling you the Amazon. We hadn't spoken then. And I'm going to make another proclamation now that I just see global companies in this space coming to Namaste. I don't see how, they don't, how they're not going to be calling Namaste throughout 2018 saying, we want your technology here. We want that application there. We want you to do this for us in that country. And uh, that's what excites me. But I don't know, Sean, if you want to, if you could comment about that or if it were maybe better for you not to say anything, but I want to say that for everybody at home. I just see it happening. Yeah, no, I, I, I think you've hit it bang on. Let's talk about the stock options that, uh, that Aurora took. They've got 500,000 stock options, the company at uh, $3.35. Um, that has to drive the relationship even, even deeper, no, because – uh, they now have a vested interest, you know, a pocketbook interest in the in the future success of Namaste. So what could that mean in terms of even deeper relationship than you've already gone with Aurora? Listen, they've been amazing, right? When we started with them, we were maybe a $35, $50 million market cap, you know, if we're lucky. And they, we, they gave us the chance to prove ourselves. You know, um, now we're an $800 million market cap company, which is unbelievable that the markets have recognized um, what we really bring and our revenue and everything else that we have going on. That's amazing. But Aurora being a leader in the space, um, you can imagine if I'm getting 
our doors knocked on like multiple times a day. Hey, do you want to look at this vaporizer? Hey, look at this piece of technology. Just imagine how busy they are, right? We know they're super busy. So by them having a um, vested interest in us, it aligns us to move forward and keep working on these amazing projects that we're doing, that it's no longer, oh, you know, hey, great, you know, like, don't forget what this means. They actually have shares, uh, the right to buy shares in Namaste, making them shareholders, right? So who, who will you want to help out more in the future? Who will you want to give that extra few minutes you know, if you only have five minutes available in a week, who are you going to give those extra couple minutes to? Um, oh, or a stranger or someone else knocking on your door or a trusted partner that you have already shown that you believe in them and now you've actually stepped forward to, to take a piece and an interest in them. Yeah, and when I read that as a shareholder, I just love that part there because like you said, uh, you no longer have to claw your way through. Because a lot of people may take for granted saying, well, Sean's already a partner, so why wouldn't they take his call? It may come down to sometimes they just, like you said, so busy working on so many things that they can't. But now this gives that extra incentive to say, hey, let's give five, ten minutes to Sean. we got to talk about something. So when I saw that, that made me feel great. That made me feel fantastic shareholder. Last question. Um, you know, Aurora brought, uh, to, uh, issued their quarterlies today, and it looks like they, they did just over $3 million uh, for the month. Sorry, they just did over $3 million for the month. How does that make you feel, given the fact that, uh, your last month was over $2 million and, you know, a $5 billion mark cat company and, and you're coming right up behind them on actual delivery on the top line. I think people really need to recognize that, right? At the rate that we've grown, Aurora's been, along, uh, been around even before Namaste's been around and how quickly our revenue's growing, right? December, we still had an amazing month in December. I can't disclose the number yet just because we haven't reported it. Sure. But, um, you know, some things to factor in December, there wasn't Black Friday or Cyber Monday. We gave up our U.S. business, right? And uh, on top of that, due to us only reporting, shipped out the door. Remember, I told you, I, I think I mentioned it on your show or perhaps on Namaste 420, that we actually did $3 million in, in the month of November. It's just that those three million that get scrubbed down for refunds, chargebacks, not shipped out the door. The way um, the holidays fell this year, the first of the month was obviously yesterday. So there was no shipping the Sunday, the Saturday, the Friday ended early. Right. Thursday, you know what I mean? There was a people were on holiday. So and that does make a difference for quarter for 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 monthly and quarterly for companies sometimes when it, when it falls that way, but. Bottom line is you're actually bringing the register, but you're only counting them when the, when the, when the shipment goes out the door because you could be a lot more aggressive and say, well, okay, Georgia sent an order, done. That's revenue. But you're not counting until it gets out the door. Yeah, and I'm glad you recognize that, George. That's important. That's, That's really, really big because our number was $3 million. So if you look at you know, apples to apples, it's almost like the LPs you know, with the harvesting, right? We've talked about it on your show before from accounting rules. You know, you said you didn't even know about it before, you know, and it's become yeah, shocking. present. So it's kind of the same idea, right? It's like they've harvested it and they count it as sales. It would be like us not scrubbing the orders. So it's almost like if you compare apples to apples, we have right there with them. revenue. They're 5 billion. We're under a billion. We haven't even started selling our cannabis yet mix in the cannabis into the recurring revenue. And, you know, I believe we're, we're off to the races. And on the first day, on the first trading day of January, the first visit of January, you in that last 12 seconds just painted a beautiful picture for what's going to be going forward for Namaste. So uh, let's end it and there, Sean. The overhead's a lot lower, George, right? Like we oh, don't yeah. have a million square foot warehouse with hundreds of employees. We're trying to be as lean as possible but still show the markets that we could grow revenue as quick as anyone, be a leader in Canada, have more B2C sales than anyone in Canada, especially on the medicinal side. You know, I know these are bold statements to make, but we could look at every interview I've had with you and uh, everything except one thing didn't happen, right? Due to the challenge on the venture exchange, due to our US exposure, we've now removed our US exposure. Who knows, maybe I could go batting a, a, a thousand again, right? Which is uh, almost impossible, but you know, let, let's keep our fingers crossed and see if, uh, if I can make every single thing that I've ever said on your show actually come true.
and in the small cap world, Sean, and this is something maybe you don't realize because you, you know, you you've really got your head down in Namaste. But in the small cap world, I got to tell you, if a CEO bats 55 percent, 60 percent, he or she, they're a superstar because you know, by the nature, the nature of small caps is things don't things don't always go the way you want to go because you don't have the resources, you don't have the financials, you don't have the uh, top notch, you know, C level suite. Uh, kind of executives and sometimes things don't get done and investors typically are happy with hey, you, you're batting 55 60% we are really happy and I'm going to tell you what I've told everyone at home everything Sean has said has come true except for the TSX venture listing and that had to do with uh, you know with with the laws in the U in the US and why that couldn't happen and that was out of your out of your control so that's why when you say things I don't cut you off or I don't, you know, challenge you even more in it because some guys want to talk a big game, paint a big picture just for the hopes of trying to sell stock. Uh, but everything you say has come through. So when you talk about hey, George, I know you said something, some things are out of your control, but if I make a statement, I make sure of making it happen. I just want to point that out for the record. So even though 99% of people counted us out on that venture listing, etc., I just want to tell everybody that you know, I don't let things sleep, especially when I go on the record telling you, you know, telling your viewers that I'm going to do something. I understand other people bat 55% and they're happy or 550, you know, yep. I, I'm not happy unless I go a thousand for you. You know, I lose sleep if I don't do everything that I tell you, you guys that, you know, that I'll do. So, you know, just for if, the record. If you don't win, if you don't win small cap executive of the year, you know, sometime soon then i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna rally the troops and go down there and protest myself at the stock <laughs> exchanges because it is true all kidding aside it's, it is funny but man you're a credit to you know ceo 2.0 this you're the type of you know, you're the prototypical kind of ceo that we all want to see in the small cap space uh people who don't talk beyond what they can do don't promise beyond what they can do and deliver what they say they're going to do and the whole industry would be better off but Sean, thanks so much. It's the first trade of date. It's the first day of trading. And, you know, like I said, everyone's just trying to get their act together. And you're putting out unbelievable news and talk to everybody. So thanks so much for joining us. And by the, the way you've been doing stuff, we'll probably have you back on next week. <laughs> so you know, have a good week until, until we see you next time. Thanks for your time, George. Wishing you all the best for 2018. Wishing all the listeners, shareholders, investors. We're going to have an amazing year. So thank you very much. And I'm excited. and getting buckled in for a ride, you know? Likewise, my friend. And for everyone at home, if you haven't gotten enough out of this interview, uh, remember the company does Namaste 420 every Wednesday on YouTube at 4.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, you're, and you're, you are have the chance to be even more interactive in that one because you're actually posting your comments and Sean and the team are answering them. So uh, if, you, if you couldn't get enough of Sean on this one, tune in tomorrow to see the next one. <laughs> Thanks, George. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon.